Hello everyone, I'm Yadik Reddy and welcome to my channel HVR Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can enable or disable the test cases from TestNG XML file in TestNG. So generally in our TestNG project, we will have multiple TestNG XML files, right? So under the each TestNG XML file, again we will have multiple test cases. So the project structure will be lo looking something like this guys. So we have one TestNG project, under the TestNG project, we have multiple TestNG XML files. So like this, TestNG XML file 1 and TestNG XML file 2 and TestNG XML file 3. So under each testng xml file, we have multiple test cases. So in the first xml file, I have four test cases and in the second one, I have only one test case and in the third xml file, I have three test cases, right? So like this, we will have multiple test cases inside the testng project. But sometimes I don't want to execute all of the test cases. I want to selectively execute some test cases, okay? So in which scenarios do you feel like that? So let me tell you one small example so that you will understand. So for suppose, as part of our project testing, we have multiple releases going on, right? So we have release 1, we have release 2, we have release 3, like that we will have multiple releases. So under each release, you will have multiple sprints again, right? So if you are using the agile model, right, you will have multiple sprints under each release. So in each sprint, I don't want to execute all the test cases, guys, okay? So under each sprint, I don't want to execute all the test cases. I want to selectively pick only few test cases, okay? I want to do some test coverage analysis and based on the test coverage analysis, I want to select only few test cases and I want to execute them. That means the remaining things I am not going to execute, right? So when I say I want to execute few test cases, that means I want to enable those test cases and the remaining things I want to disable them, okay? So that is the reason we should know how to enable and disable the test cases inside the testng XML file, guys, okay? So let me open the Eclipse. So here I have already created some class files and one testng XML file also in my previous sessions guys. But let me give you some high level idea like what exactly I have created and what it is doing. Okay. So here I'm using one website called Orange HRM. So inside this website, once you open this URL, so inside this we have some credentials also displayed here only. So let me open, let me enter these credentials. So what exactly I'm doing here is I'm creating two test cases with this Orange HRM website. So the first test is I want to open this application, this Orange HRM application. Then I want to enter the login credentials and click on login. And once the login is completed, I need to verify whether the login is successful or not. Okay. So how do I verify that? So I'm going to verify whether this welcome message is displayed or not. So based on this welcome message, I'm going to verify whether the login is successful or not. So that is my first test case, guys. Okay. And the second one is in the similar way, I'm going to open the application and I enter the login details. And once I click on the login, I will have this dashboard page, right? So from here, I'm going to click on the My Information tab and I need to verify whether this My Information tab is actually displayed or not. So this is the second test case I'm having, okay? So let me show you. So here you can see the first test is actually orange HRM login and here we have multiple test methods actually. So the first test method is going, going to open the application and the second one is going to enter the login details and the third one is going to verify the login. And in the similar way, we have one more test that is orange HRM my info. So under that first, we are going to open the application. Then we will enter the login details, then navigate to the application. I mean, my information tab and verify whether the my information tab is displayed or not. So for these things, the test methods are inside this orange HRM dot Java. Okay. So here you can see the test method is there, right? So for entering the credentials, we have this test method and for opening the application, we have this test method. So like this, I have the verification methods also here. Okay. And one more thing guys, we have added one before test method and also after test method. So in the before test method, I'm opening the browser and in the after test method, I'm going to quit the browser. And the next test is this test to Google. So what exactly I'm doing here is I'm going to open the Google homepage and then I will enter the HYR tutorials text and I'll click on enter. And once I enter that, it is going to show some search results, right? So I'm going to verify the search results title. Okay. That web page title I'm going to verify here. That's it. So these are the test cases I have already added guys. So now let's see how to disable the test cases now. So this is the XML structure. Okay. So as I said here under each testng XML file, we will have multiple test cases, right? So here you can see we have one testng XML file under the testng XML file. We have one suit. So under the suit, we have multiple test cases. So this is one test case and this is one test case and this is one test case. So from the test opening tag to test closing tag, we call it as a test case. And the methods that are present inside these are called as test methods. So here I want to disable the test cases itself, not the test methods guys. Okay. So I want to disable the entire test case itself. So let's see how to disable that. So you need to add one property called enable here guys. So what is the property enabled? So you need to add one property called enabled. So this property value will be by default true. 
so even if you don't mention this value right so internally it is actually having the true value only okay so if you want to enable any test case you need to mention the enable as true like this so if you don't mention also by default it will be enabled position only okay so if you want to disable what you need to do it's you need to simply change this value to false that's it so for every test whatever the test you want to disable for every test you need to add this property so the property value must be false guys okay because this property is saying that it should be enabled or not so that is why we need to provide the false okay the negative value we need to provide so now i have disabled the first test case right so let me run this or i'll just disable the last test case itself so that is test google so i'm going to disable the test google test case and i'm going to execute only the orange hrm test cases so let me run this so now i have three test cases inside my test engine xml file but i have disabled one test case here that means only two test cases should be executed right so let's wait and see so the first test case is executing so login is completed and verification is also completed and now the second test is actually executing so it will first open the application then it will enter the credentials and once the login is successful it will go to my information tab and it will verify whether the my information tab is displayed or not now you can see only two test cases are executed right so from where you can see here also you can see guys okay two of two methods are executed and if you collapse all these you can see under the demo suit we have only two test cases here but actually i have three test cases inside my demo suit right but when i right click on this and execute it by default the test engine will identify which one is actually enabled and which one is actually disabled so this third test is actually disabled right so the disabled test will not be picked up only the enabled test will be picked up okay so as i said if you don't even mention the property also by default the test will be enabled so even if you mention the property like this and if you mention this one as true so that is also like it is enabled and if you don't mention the property also that is also enabled only so let me show you one more time so i'll just give these values here also i'll give the enabled equal true and let me execute this one more time and let's see whether only two test cases will be executed or not okay. so the first test is executing and next second one is picked so this one is my information verification okay so login is completed and it will click on my information and my information verification is done so here you can see we have only two test cases now also right so even though you provide enabled equal to true or if you don't provide also it is not going to affect guys so if you want to enable any test case right so if you don't mention the enabled equal to true also by default it will be internally enabled only but if you want to disable any test case this property value explicitly you need to mention so this is how you can disable the test case you can disable multiple test cases also guys so let me show you that so now i want to disable the second test also so i want to execute only the first test so let me execute this so this time i am disabling two test cases only one test i am actually executing okay so the login test is completed and you can see the execution is completed so now under the demo suit we are getting only one test that is orange hrm login right so even though we have three test cases it is showing only one test that is because the remaining two test cases are actually disabled so based on your scenarios i mean based on your requirement if you want to execute only some set of test cases then you need to disable the set, remaining set of test cases right so instead of creating the again one more xml file and add whatever the test cases you want to execute this way is better right so this is how you need to disable the test cases inside the test ng xml file in test ng guys so that is for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like the video please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends so if you have any doubts or if you are facing any issues while writing this programs please let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching bye bye